Macbeth by William Shakespeare, Vocabulary Boost for GCSE. Assailable, and this is to criticise you strongly. Confound, confusing or perplexing. Detraction, and this is a petty disparagement, which is to belittle. Exasperate, to cause great irritation or anger. Equivocate, and this is being deliberately ambiguous or unclear in order to mislead or withhold information. Sirrah, formerly a contemptuous term of address to an inferior man or boy, often used in anger. Slaughterous, murderous or destructive. Swinish, resembling swine, coarsely gluttonous or greedy. Polter, to talk or act insincerely or deceitfully. Malicious, showing or having a desire to cause harm. Minion, this is your favourite or dependent, a servile or fawning. Metal, the courage to carry on. non pareil, and this is a model of excellence or perfection of a kind, one having no equal. Wrapped, fascinated or entranced. Regicide, the action of killing a king. Pernicious, exceedingly harmful. Premonitory, being warned in advance. Subservience, a willingness to obey others unquestionably. Turpitude, a corrupt or depraved act. So one of the themes in this play, tragedy, an event causing great suffering, destruction and distress. Fate, another theme of the play, future, destiny and providence. Another theme of the play, ambitions, are other words for this, aspiration, desire, vocation, mission and scheme. Nature versus supernatural. So this is a conflict of opposites, which is another major theme of the play. Violence. So, of course, brutality, bloodshed, assault, murderousness and terrorism. It is too full of the milk of human kindness. Now, this is Lady Macbeth saying that in this situation, her husband is too kind to kill the king. Now it's had all spent, where our desire is got without content. Now this is Lady Macbeth realising that in working for what she craved and coveted, she's lost the relationship and the husband she loved. By the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. This is how the witches refer to Macbeth as a thing instead of a person. The once noble warrior is now subhuman, defined by his evil. Look like the innocent flower but be the serpent under it. Lady Macbeth is telling Macbeth he needs to be a man in order to kill Duncan. He needs to look innocent, but be the serpent underneath. So sentence starters then. The playwright wants you to consider. An example to show is, supernatural is explored when, strong language is used to imply, unquestionably, this demonstrates and Shakespeare's reasons for good luck.